Hi, welcome to another speed bottling tutorial. Today I show you a free shaped glass roof. All right, let's start with um, just some walls and a slab. And I will choose the shell tool. Let's go in there quickly. You know, I just give it material. I've got a 200 thickness and height about here at the moment. I don't worry too much because I do it in 3D. So let's go to 3D. All right, let's place that shell roof. Let's start here. Just click along the corners. Just gonna make sure I like it inside for now. All right, beautiful. So select this one. It's a bit too high for my liking. All right, now, what we do is take this roof, drag a copy. Okay, first thing I'll do is um, I want to do my frames. So I take a slab and we start up with the frame. I've got a window frame somewhere here. Where is it? There we go. I put it on a layer called windows for me. The height, one meter, that's fine for now. And cover fill. Yeah, that should do. All right, cool. Let's draw that slide. And I want to actually have the, the frames 50 mil thick. So I copy and paste slab copy and paste it back in there you go and we offset it by 50 so we put 50 perfect now you just select the outer one you have a slab space click and we made a hole select this one delete all right perfect I'll show you what we got now okay that's what I got now that's my outer frame Next one is, I want to do obviously some more frames. So, um, along here, I like them roughly one meter um, spread apart. So let's have a look. This is 23, almost 24. Let's make it 20, 20, um, 24. Doing my um, frame, because first I got to draw one. Click here. So that's my piece of frame and like I said we had 24 so we spread this out 24 take it from here all the way to there this one I obviously don't need and the same with this one over here but that one I use for the next frames so let's just rotate this 90 degrees and we drag this into place so we can also multiply that one there we go just stretch it all right now i want to go along here and um, instead of one meter let's make it two meters but i have to then measure shortly it's roughly 22 so if i want them two meters apart sort of then we multiply 11. So we take 11, there we go, distribute them along, there, all the way, come on, to there. So this one again, we don't need, and the same one, this one. All right, let's see what we got so far. So that's our grid frame. Now I want to add some glass. Let's do that with another slab. And I've got the material called glass roof. Same thickness. Um, I usually change the cover fill pen so I know what it is. And I draw it so it will turn up blue now. Okay. 
take this all the way over here. And that's my glass now. Alright. Great. Now, next step is we select all this and we extend it. Make sure it's extended over our shaped roof. Um, I usually group that. There we go. Because now I can use the solid element operation. I want to get my target element, which are the frames and glass I just created. So target elements. And the operator element, I'll take my shape roof. All right. What we have to do is we have to intersect. All right. And then we execute. All right, you can see what happens. Cut it all out nicely, perfectly. Now we still have obviously the main roof, which was our operator element showing. So what we do is we go here to shell. We select that one. And then we put that on the cutting. Oh, it's already on there, see? I've been clever enough to do that. So all I have to do is obviously now select this and I hide that layer. Oops, no, 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 not that way. I want to just hide the, yeah, the shell. There we go. Okay, as you can see, very nice. Let's go back here. Okay, what you have to do is make sure you move the operator element, which is in our case, the shell. If I don't move the shell over here, I won't be able to cut everything. So, I'm gonna make sure the shell is on. I think it is on. Let's have a quick look, make sure. Yeah, okay, it's all good. So now we take this and we drag this back over here. Okay, let's um, have a look in 3D. There you go, it's all there. And I have a layer combination. I can just turn off my cut element layer. And there you go. What is pretty cool as an add on, you can actually change the shell which we have as an operator element. So if I turn that back on, got my shell here, save the shell. And I can still move my shell down. And as you can see, it keeps the glass roof with the frame perfectly in shape. Okay, let's do this again. Just one more time. Cup it higher up. Export. There we go. Perfect. Okay, I hope you liked this tutorial and I see you back next time. Bye for now. Bye.